All right, so we are going to be looking at Amazon's Choice Keyboard. I figured it'd be something interesting to look into. Everyone uses keyboard if you are using a computer or sometimes on a mobile device, you sometimes need that physical keyboard. Mm -hmm. Or if you're watching TV or you have like an Amazon Fire TV or something like that, right. you want a keyboard or some device that allows you to control the TV mm -hmm. from where you're comfortably seated on the couch. Yeah, you don't want to get up. You know, you're watching a movie, you're into it. Sometimes you need to turn down the volume. Well, you want to watch some YouTube. You don't want to get up. So, this is the solution. The Logitech K400 Plus. Compatible on Windows, Chrome OS, and Android. This keyboard can last up to 18 months. That's pretty crazy. It's got two AA batteries pre-installed, and it goes for $30 on Amazon. 18 good. months 18, of battery life. 18 months of battery life, yeah. Holy cow. Some of the other features, it's got a built-in touchpad, which is right here. Yeah. And it has 10 meters of range, which is- That's actually pretty really good. Plug and play yeah. with a 2.4 gigahertz, gigahertz Logitech unifying USB receiver, mm -hmm. connects to one device and has a power off and on switch. Now, one thing this does not say is that it does not support Mac OS, which we are gonna be testing it on today. We do have our MacBook here on the side. We're gonna be trying to pair it with it, seeing how it works with Macs. Obviously it works with Windows and Android, but for those Apple users out there, let's see. You are, let's try that again. There, and okay. you ruined the box. So this is it. Is there anything else? There should be a micro, oh no, because it runs off of batteries. They did say there is a USB port though. Yeah, so here it is, right here. Okay. A little tiny adapter that you plug into your computer. Here's the pre-installed batteries, and then you can pull this piece oh, out to... It comes with batteries already. It. So, let's talk about the build quality first before we try, before we even try it. What is it like? Feels like a, to be honest, a typical keyboard. It's kind of plasticky. The keys are Hard pretty good. Plastic. Yep, you, they're not, they're not super satisfying. They are a bit mushy. But it seems like your typical, I kind of want to say industrial corporate keyboard. Like if you were to go to a hospital, this is similar. Minus this part though. Yeah, but like if you were to go to a hospital, this is typically what they'd have for a keyboard. It'd be a hardened plastic, hardened plastic keys that are mushy. Something you use in a business setting. Yeah. A lot of the business kind of type keyboards are there, the keys are spaced pretty close to each other. When you're mm -hmm. comparing it to the Mac, the keys are spaced quite a bit further apart. Yeah. So these ones are very close, but you got a some distance between the two here. Now, compared to the butterfly keys, these offer a lot more, a lot more travel for each key. Like, I mean, there, there's a huge difference if that matters to you. Some people find it hard to type on the MacBook keyboard, the newer ones. It's very comfortable. Let's try it. Let's see if it works. It works on Mac OS. That's we awesome. Are we unboxed. are unboxed. Wait, what about the trackpad? That, that's... Hey, the trackpad works too. Okay, that's that's good. Oh, okay, so it does support iOS, not officially. Volume works. That's, that's actually pretty good, I'm happy with this. So then if you want to use, I think this is like an additional keyboard, or sorry, additional mouse. Yeah, that's an additional left click, so if you wanna click that. So you can use that, like if you wanna grab, so go to the top here. Click with that one and hold it, and then you can move it, right? So it makes it easier to drag stuff around. What other functions are there? So there's music, skip, play. I'm pretty satisfied with this keyboard for only 30 bucks. I would say it's a basic keyboard. Like there isn't mm -hmm. much additional features that it has, but kind of what you would really need for the applications, like watching TV with it, or maybe using it as an additional keyboard on your laptop or, or desktop computer. It's got pretty basic functions, which a lot of people like. Yeah. They don't want the additional gimmicky features. I mean, if you had some peanut butter on your finger for some reason, and you accidentally type on the keyboard, you wouldn't be upset that you got it dirty, which I think in a movie theater or a home theater type of situation is something you really want. Mm -hmm. you, know, you don't want to be rocking like a $200 keyboard and get it dirty and then be like, now I don't want to use it. Another key feature I think is that it lasts for 18 months and yeah. that is really cool. Now I wonder if it has an automatic sleep function or if it just doesn't You can turn it on and off here when you're done using it. Do you think it's 18 months on? Or do you think it's 18 months? I think it just says 18 months battery life. So that means on. Yeah, 
18 months battery life. Amazon fact, Nathan, hit me with it. How many reviews do you think this got? 1,800. This got 1,643 reviews. Dang it. Date. So you were pretty close. Pretty close. How many of them do you think were five star? 80%. 80%. I mean, I don't know how you can critique this keyboard, except for it feeling like cheap plastic. Other than that, it's, it's, it's good. It has, like, it has little flex to it. So if you are typing hard, you may feel it. You know, like if you're pressing hard on a key, that could be a concern. So this received 70% five star Ooh, reviews. That's pretty good. Here is Kitty who gave a five star review. Her title was amazing with this amazed with this little keyboard. She said, I use this keyboard combination in my living room and it does not get treated gently, LOL. It gets used constantly, it gets dropped, banged. It. It's kind of what we were saying before, like you wouldn't really be worried if you dropped off the couch or something like no. that. She said, it gets used constantly, gets dropped, banged, jumped on and lost, I guess in the couch. Who jumps on it, a cat uh, or a kid? I don't think I don't think it would survive if a kid jumped on this. So a cat, okay. Or maybe she means like sat on. And she said jumped. But after using this keyboard for over three months, I love it, especially considering I went through about three different styles and brands of keyboard combos before finding one that can survive in my home. Touchpad is very responsive, haven't had to change a battery as of yet, and still works great considering what you get on a daily basis. Very happy. No, it is a good keyboard. Like typing on it is pretty easy as well. It feels it feels good. There's nothing wrong with it. Now, one star review. One star review. Do you want to read it? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, let me read this. Which, which one am I reading? This one. By Honest Reviewer. Doesn't even put down his name. Purchased on March 26, 2017, and it stopped working completely on June 1st, 2017. Cannot send it back to Amazon, so I'm stuck with this trash. Now, where'd it stop working? There's a couple things that could go wrong. One, maybe, <laughs> maybe it wasn't fully plugged in. That could be something. I mean, if you're plugging it in, maybe like- comes, Yeah, but most people would loose. realize that. I mean, so, maybe he didn't. To this person's point, the honest reviewer, that wasn't the first comment that we looked at that said this stopped working after a few oh. months. So that could be an issue with this thing. That it just stops working, huh? But to that point, there are a lot more positive, significantly more amount of positive reviews than negative reviews. I mean, I wonder when he says it just stopped working, like it just stopped transmitting, maybe the battery was dead. Or you didn't change you the type battery. something and nothing happens. Nothing happened. I mean, nothing's happening right now. Yeah, because he turned it off. No, it's not plugged in. Sure. Point made. I mean, I don't know. Maybe he didn't know that. But if I'm being honest, which side am I going to lean more towards? I feel more towards Kitty. Five stars. I mean, for 30 bucks, it's a solid keyboard. Like I was typing while you were talking. It was good. You know, there's no hassles with it. The keys feel comfortable. It's durable. You know, I could drop this right now and not not feel bad about it. Yep. And it'd probably still work. I, I like this too. I would say a majority of the people who reviewed this positively would have a better impact on me purchasing purchasing it than people who gave it a negative review. So I, if I needed some sort of keyboard or some sort of device to use in a home theater yep. or some other application, this probably would be the way that go. Especially if you have kids or animals. Yeah. Like you know, it's it's durable. It's a Hard in plastic, you can't go wrong with it. Hopefully you guys enjoyed the video. If you guys did, make sure you leave a big thumbs up. If you want to see us review anything, let us know in the comments below. And of course, subscribe if you're new.